My name is Jyoti Pandraj and I'm from section BEA S2-1. Today, I'm here to present about my final year project, which is development of exoskeleton for knee rehabilitation therapy, monitoring using IoT. Before I start to check my project, I would like to explain what my project really is. So my project is basically about knee exoskeleton, which is used to monitor the recovery status of a knee injury. So when a person has a knee injury, so basically what they do is that every time they need to check on their knee recovery, they have to go all the way to the hospital to, to get to know about their recovery status. So with this project, they can just use this project in their own house and then they can monitor their knee recovery using uh, IoT system, IoT platform, which is Think Speed and then Blink, and then they can just check on the recovery status from there. And the person, the user, also can check the recovery status from their smartphone itself. This project has three main objectives, which is the user can monitor their knee recovery from their own houses. Secondly, the user can monitor their knee recovery from their own smartphones. Thirdly, whatever data that is collected from the device, it can be stored in cloud storage and the user or doctor or anyone can refer to the data in the future just by logging in into the system. about the research methodology that I used to design this project. So firstly, I did a survey on online uh, with, with, with relevant websites in online in Google that explains more deeply about ThinkSpeed and Blink. And then I went through YouTube videos and I see how people do, how people develop an IoT device and then I take idea from there. I just see video, I learn something new and then everything I learned from online and then I just apply whatever I learned and then I apply my knowledge to my project. And then moreover, I also go and take advice from my uh, supervisor. So he helped me a lot on this project. So he will advise me which platform I can use, which device I can use. So he, he advised me a lot on that. And then what I did, I just take advice from him. I created and then I developed this um, project. explain briefly about how the project works. Firstly, the person or the user, they have to wear the exoskeleton strap on their knees and then they just have to switch on the device. After they switch on the device, they can actually put their knees in an initial position which is straight position. So after that, they have to monitor the graph. So the graph will be in constant value. So once they start to move their knees, the graph will increase and then they can see changes in the value which led the person, anyone who monitoring the graph will let them know that the knee is actually recovering. The platform that the user is going to monitor the graph is ThinkSpeed. ThinkSpeed is a platform they can monitor in a laptop or any desktop computer. So if the person wants to monitor the graph in their smartphone, they can just download an application called Blink and then they just can monitor their knee recovery through their smartphone itself. The platform which the user can use to monitor their knee recovery is ThinkSpeed. So once they started to wear all these things and then they have to monitor the graph. The platform is ThinkSpeed. So once the person logged in into the ThinkSpeed, they can see the graph and then the value, everything is just there. So if the person wants to uh, refer to the graph or refer to the uh, refer to the how the knee is recovering, they can just use their smartphone. Uh, there's an app called ThinkView they can just uh, monitor the graph from the app itself. If they want a quick access, they can use an app called Blink and they can just uh, look at their knee recovery for a quick access uh, data in that Blink app.
Okay, this is how my project looks like once it's uh, fixed in uh, the patient's knee. So we just have to use some few straps to uh, fix this project onto the knee, the patient's knee. So this patient is now is uh, knee injured. So we're gonna test uh, this project on him to test his knee recovery. So after we fix all these things on his knees, so what we have to do is that we just have to log in into the ThinkSpeed IoT. So every user will have their own profile. So we just have to log in. Okay, once logged in, we will have this channel here called knee value. So once we enter, we can see the graph here. So the graph is not moving now. It's because uh, we still haven't turned on this uh, device yet. So after we turn on the device, this graph will actually uh, will start to show values. So let's see. Okay, once we uh, turn on this, this, this device, Okay, actually see a value there. So this shows the initial position of the uh, knee. So the value should be around uh, 180, something like that. So we will just wait to uh, collect more data so that we can see the difference uh, once the knee starts to move. So since the knee is not moving yet, so the data is still in a constant value. So this is the constant value. This, this, uh, these three dots is the constant value. This is because the data taken before uh, it started. Okay, we have created uh, enough value for constant uh, position. So now after this, we'll ask this patient to actually move, move its knee. Okay, once the patient moves the knee, so it, it shows that the knee is actually recovering. So when the knee is recovering, the gra uh, should go up. Uh, it should increase in value so that we know that it is increasing so we can see the graph is actually moving up Okay, this is because uh, the patient actually uh, moved the knee to the initial position, so the graph actually went down. So as you can see, there's a difference in the graph. So yeah, that's how it works. So uh, this is how it works. So we can just refer the graph. So I've explained de uh, more detail about the graph in the report itself. So uh, we can refer the report for more detailed uh, explanation about the graph and everything. And then this project, we can actually uh, monitor this, uh, this device from the phone itself. This is called a Blink app. So we can just see it's, uh, this one is the quick access for the value. So we can see the value here. So we can see the value here. Um, this is called a blink app so once i stop this is, this won't uh, move anything so once i play you can actually get this value so there's another app for this uh for this graph to be monitored it is called thing you 
This is a thing you app. So same channel. Okay, once we refresh this page, we can actually get whatever graph that is there. Whatever graph that is uh, moving here, we can actually get through our phones itself. So in this way, the user can actually uh, monitor their knee recovery uh, from their desktop PC or their smartphones itself. So this is actually uh, a very important device uh, for those who think that they are uh, going to the hospital is very hard for them. So this device is actually will um, help them to save more money on uh, hospital. They can just buy this device, buy this uh, whatever platform we have. So they can just uh, save more money in that. And then this, this, uh, this thing speed, we can actually, so our motive is that to save uh, storage, whatever storage, whatever data that is collected, we can uh, store in uh, cloud device. So this is the cloud storage. We can actually just exit this, uh, this app. So data will be there until we open again. So if we want to download this uh, data, we can just export this data to CSV format. We can actually receive this data in uh, Excel format. So if you click this, uh, yeah, this is the data received for just now. So this is what uh, mainly about my project. Uh, so our both our main three objective has been achieved, which is the user can monitor the their recovery from the home itself. The user can monitor their recovery from laptop. And then the third one is that they can monitor their recovery in uh, smartphones. So all these three objectives has been achieved. So uh, this is my project. Thank you so much for watching. This is it for my video. So I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And then I would like to thank my supervisor, Mr. Razali, for helping me throughout this project. He guided me and then advised me in so many aspects. I also would like to thank uh, Mr. Wafi and Mr. Hatta. They are my parents uh, for this project. Thank you so much.